Hi there. Uh, my name is John Hendren, and I am somehow considered to be a uh, DevOps thought leader. Uh, I don't know how this happened. Well, I, I kind of know how it happened. And now I end up uh, operating the largest DevOps certification body uh, in the world. It's over 4,000 graduates. Uh, we're very proud. It's very free. Get on DevOpsLeague.com. Please uh, log in and, and try it out. It's a very easy test, by the way. Um, you're, you're probably asking like, who I am and why I matter, and the answer is I don't, and you, you shouldn't be wondering that. But uh, about two years ago, my friends approached me and they said, we have this product, but we have a marketing problem. And I said, well, uh, you know, fix the product. But they said, the product is fine, it's this word DevOps that nobody can understand. And I said, okay, well, uh, let me Google it and I'll call you back. Two hours later, I called them back and I was more confused than I was before. Uh, I had read blog posts, I had uh, watched a webinar even. Uh, nothing helped. Uh, <laughs> I was uh, uh, quite lost. And they said, that's exactly right. You, you are lost. Uh, they gave me a copy of the Phoenix Project, which helped. They said, uh, you know, the only good way to understand this problem is to read a 400-page novel. So uh, I did that, and then I spent the next two weeks uh, trying to read every blog post I could get my hands on. And I uh, spent a good deal of time. Oh, these aren't my slides. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what I learned was not much, right? Um, I learned a lot of new buzzwords that sounded more like uh, William Shatner's tech war than uh, actual practical advice. And I, uh, I'm not a total layman either. Like, I know enough Python to get around. I've built my own computers for the last 15 years. I'm not, like, a, a dumb guy. Uh, but I, I couldn't make heads or tails of the Phoenix Project. And... Um, the, the problem is there are plenty of thought leaders and too few thoughts to go around. Uh, there's hardly any plain speak out there. Uh, I, I'm sure you've read blog posts that use 900 words to say almost nothing at all. It, it's not uh, an uncommon problem. Uh, articles like five things my newborn son taught me about DevOps, like that doesn't do anything for me. Uh, <laughs> uh, things we can learn about DevOps from SEAL Team 6, like come on, th this, this is not real advice, right? Uh, but the problem is that fluff gets mistaken for hype by the uninitiated. They, they buy this, they say, oh, well, this is a, a, you know, a good person to listen to, a good person to uh, uh, listen to their advice from. Uh, so I had an idea. I said, uh, maybe I can become a thought leader just by repeating over and over that I am a thought leader. And uh, <laughs> it, it turns out it worked very, very well. Uh, I, I now seem to control, after we did some analysis of, of my reach and my efficacy in, in messaging, uh, I control about a quarter of online uh, discussion about DevOps, which is absolutely insane, right? But it's important because it shouldn't be that way. It, it shouldn't be just open season for anybody to come in and become a thought leader. Uh, if you have uh, an ideal... Uh, <laughs> I didn't write that. Uh, <laughs> the, the core failing of DevOps is this. I, I think I'm going over my time because these slides are uh, really weird. Uh, <laughs> if you don't define what DevOps is, nobody can tell you what DevOps isn't, which is a huge, huge problem. Uh, I, I work at a company. It, it's called ScriptDoc, but I'm not going to pitch you because, uh, you know, it's not like that. But uh, we, we see a lot of people who come in and they say, well, we're, we're trying to roll out automation. Uh, I'm doing Chef. Uh, the guy in the other lab is doing Puppet. We're doing Ansible on the East Coast. Uh, we don't, you know, really know what we're doing. And the problem is they bought into the hype. Oh, all right. <laughs> they bought into the hype before realizing that it was hype. They, they bought an automation uh, pitch before they realized uh, oh, wow. B before they <laughs> realized what they were getting into. The problem is, is mistaking hype, or mistaking fluff for hype, rather, mistaking hype for real information. I, I think we can all do a little better. Uh, those of us who are watching this ecosystem unfold should demand a higher standard of thought leadership, uh, ask for practicality instead of pie-in-the-sky idealisms. A and first of all, more importantly, uh, be better thought leaders ourselves and kind of kick bad information out of the nest. And if I see one more article 
about what John Elway can teach me about DevOps, uh, I'm going to lose my mind. Thank you.